to London and Global's Stuart Greer. Stuart. Well, Tara, it's been just an amazing day here in London. Hyde Park turned into a throbbing mass of humanity and music, and fans lucky because the concert here is going on much longer than expected. There's no doubt this will be a massive and historic event. More than 200,000 people will be here. Another quarter of a million are expected to gather just outside the concert walls. Today, and he joins us now. Stuart. Well, Kevin, while the attacks came early in the morning, the city is still struggling with the chaos they caused. The uh, tube or the subway here remains closed, and what began as a long and terrible day has turned into a long and exhausting night. Stuart Greer has been on the front lines of demonstrations continuing to take place in Islamabad. Stuart. Kevin, placing Benazir Bhutto under house arrest has stopped the long march to here, the capital, but it hasn't quelled the anger or pockets of protest. Stuart. Kevin, the police investigation is now focused on several locations across London where Alexander Litvinenko could have been poisoned, like this sushi bar. They're looking for traces of something called polonium-210. That's a radioactive material they now believe was the poison used to kill the former spy. Good evening. I'm Stuart Greer. Jamie Orchard and Jonathan Freed are off tonight. Also in the news, a call for greater hospital security after a nurse is stabbed and a Senate committee on illegal drugs comes to Montreal. But first, our top story in politics. Three quarters of Quebecers want a new government. While the PQ leadership race is unofficially underway, key ministers are jockeying for a position, but could it be a coronation for Bernard Landry? With more on that, our political panel. Absolutely. That may have been one of the turning points points in the campaign. Welcome back to the 178th St. Patrick's Parade in downtown Montreal live on global television. I'm Stuart Greer along with Tracy McKee and Richard McConomy and uh, beautiful afternoon, beautiful March afternoon. We're at the corner of St. Catherine Street and McGill College. The parade already underway.